at Kennedy Lee 2248 says nine days ago when I created a track beat and insert VST sound shifter for live karaoke, the voice is very latency. Can you fix in the next update? Okay. Great. Uh, so understand this um, for anybody that wants to know. I don't work with Cakewalk. Okay. I don't work with Cakewalk. I'm just a user that I've been using it for over 20 years. Okay. So um, I don't work with them. I would love to work with them. That'd be great. Um, so that way I have more insight to help you all. But to answer the question about latency, whenever you in uh, Chisholm slide, I just see you. I see the question. I'm coming right back to that. Don't go nowhere. Um, whenever you have a project and you're trying to record vocals and you notice that you use plugins that are making it late uh, because some plugins will actually delay the latency. Um, for instance, delay, delay, delay is the latency. So uh, if you're trying to record while you have these effects on, then that may affect your latency. What I mean by latency is that the process of how you record into an analog source like this, okay? Going through analog cable, like this XLR cable, going into a mixer, which is in this case, digital. Um, well, it's going in analog, but it comes out digital via USB, which is going into my computer, which is digital. And then it comes back through, it like makes a, makes a circle and it comes back around and comes to my headphones or to my speakers but makes it analog again. Whenever I record or sing into this microphone, the way you're hearing me speaking now, and I can even tell when I'm looking at my video on the live stream, my audio is off from what I'm hearing in my ear and what you are seeing and hearing on the live stream because that's called latency. So things are moving late and they tend to be so many milliseconds behind our head. And if you're using a interface and you're fortunate to have a really, really decent one, that's, I don't know, $200 or more. Some of them have like what's called zero latency where you hear exactly, you know, what you, you know, it's still going to be some type of latency, but it's very close to being, as soon as I speak, that's exactly what I'm hearing in my ears right away. Um, the good thing about having a mixer that has live monitoring is that I can monitor everything from my Zoom. So I'm hearing the sound coming from my Zoom, but not from Cakewalk or not from the computer itself. Because if I was hearing it directly from the computer, when I record, I would be very late. So this is one issue that you will have if you are using Let's go to edit preferences. Chisholm, I still see you and can. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Thank, thank you for Thank you. I need questions. I love questions. Um, when you see this, how do I zoom in on it? Can I zoom in on this? All right. Okay. Uh, oh, we got a free move too. hold on. Oh, snap. Boy, y'all should have told me a hey, restream is just really up their game since like since a long time ago. That makes it so much easier to see. Okay, so I disappeared for a moment, but hopefully you can see my screen. So when we talk about latency, we're talking about um, driver settings, okay? Cakewalk by BandLab, Cakewalk Sonar. Uh, typically, pretty much any DAW is gonna have some type of option that talks about latency or buffer size, all right? Uh, buffer size, buffers in playback queue, the buffer size, fast to safe, all right? Here for ASIO, you will see this grayed out. That's because there's an option that says ASIO panel underneath. So if you see the ASIO panel, then you know you click on ASIO. Right now I have my buffer size at 736 samples, okay? Ideally, I wanna have as low as I can get it. So the lowest it goes is 24 samples which is like dead on. Like as soon as I speak, the computer is spinning right back at me at the same time or almost the same time. Uh, and then it goes up to 4,096 samples, okay? 
the faster your latency, the more uh, clear, not want to say clear, but the more you're going to be in time with your beat. If you got a beat that you using, you know, your beat is fat, sounds good. Try and get your vocal right. Uh, less latency or quicker latency is going to make it be more in time with that beat. If you get into using a whole bunch of extensive plugins and you got 25, you know, sometimes it depends on your computer. You might have five or 10 plugins and they may cause your computer to start freezing or stuff is starting to sound glitchy. Then that's when you want to go in here and adjust this. I do this. Now, some dolls, you may not have to do that. Um, I'm not quite sure, but for every doll that I've worked with, I always do this period. So if I'm recording, boom i'm just working on you know 512 is a good amount 480 512 that's a good amount um what you're trying to do is get it as close to you know as close to that latency as possible um the ideal latency and hopefully this makes sense of what i'm saying because i don't because <laughs> i feel like i'm talking to myself even though i see your chats okay uh what's surrounding the preference Okay, so you okay? You asked another questions. Okay, I will, <laughs> let's get ahead. Okay, let me finish the, the latency off, and then I'm gonna go to Chisholm, and then I'm gonna go um, to some of the other questions that I receive. Okay, if you are not using ASIO and you are using some other type of dog, I mean, that's not some some other type of dog. <laughs> Duh, Justin, what are you doing? Okay, anyway. All right, that's, that's, I love going live. You make so many mistakes that you can't correct. I can correct it in the edit later. That's okay. Uh, if you're using any other option, okay, like you're using Wasapi or something, you're going to go to playback recording. So playback and record. Uh, ASIO is set here to driver mode, we call it. WDM, old school. Wasapi is the most advanced for Windows right now, okay? This is all the options that I would use. And MME is like really old school. So if you're using this still, that's because you have no other options that will work on your computer. But uh, I would say Wasapi would be your best choice because it's the best in latency for internal sound. OK, and what I mean by that is that you don't have a device that you plug into. You don't have an interface. You don't have no focus, right? Scarlet or something like that nearby. You are plugging directly into the computer, which is okay. If that's all that you have, that don't let that stop you from making music. Uh, if you plug directly into, know your latency is going to be off. That's okay. Just know that when you get, that's why we do editing. Editing is so I can get things in sync. Even when I'm singing background vocals, like I might put some things out of sync. I might, you know, be a slightly a little bit off. And that's okay because when I click on a track, I can shift it. You know, I can nudge it. You can't, can you see it moving? Yeah, I'm moving it with the cursor. It's called a nudge technique. Control Z, I can undo it, put it back where it is. Okay, and I'll get it where it is later on. I'm not worried about it. So, anytime you're dealing with effects, if you're trying to like use the effects because you're trying to hear that at the same time you're recording, like if some people use auto tune, they want to hear the auto tune while they're tracking. I mean, that's great. There's other ways to do that where it doesn't eat up so much uh, memory or where you don't hear so much latency. If you have a device or interface that has those options built in where you can put effects, like if I want to add effects to this, I can just turn the effects on. And now you might hear effects right now. Well, that's because on this mixer, there are effects. And if I want to hear reverb while I'm recording, I would just turn a reverb on on here. This doesn't actually print or write to the track itself. It just only shows up right here so I can hear it and have that ear candy, as they call it. 